All right, good morning. So that little sunrise that I attempted to do a time lapse of was slightly disappointing, but we're still gonna upload it. Um, but yeah, guess what? More projects. The main project that needs to get done today is a oil change on this truck. Since acquiring this truck, we have put a good bit of miles on her and she is definitely due for an oil change. So we are running down, well, I am running down to go grab the stuff to do an oil change and then gotta pick up stuff for my daughter's birthday party tomorrow. So yeah, this is gonna be a truck video, a truck vlog. I, I wanna do like an actual update on this truck. So let's go get that stuff. All right, stop one is complete. I had to pick up some My Little Pony set thing, but we couldn't start to say without some caffeine. Out of all the Red Bulls they have, the winter edition pear cinnamon. Okay, so seems how this vlog is going to primarily be about this truck. Let's talk about the main issue that I am facing with this truck right now. So, as you can see, the check engine light is on, and I am currently at an empty on the whole gas gauge thing, even though there's half a tank of gas in this right now. And it's not the fuel pump, it's like a sensor or something, I can't remember the actual name of it, but it is pretty much causing it to, it's causing the gas gauge to read empty sometimes like it doesn't do it every time like you can turn it back on and it will be a a half tank like it's supposed to be and then other times it will read zero it'll read empty which therefore causes it sometimes to not even turn over because it thinks there's no gas in the truck which i don't think it's a terrible issue it's an annoying issue but I don't view it as being a, a terrible issue, but we definitely need to get that fixed and taken care of because it is kind of annoying. But we're gonna go pick up stuff to do an oil change and gotta stop at another store to pick up some more stuff for tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be a day of spending money. Okay, slight change of plans. We have to go to, hands down, the best possible place on the face of the planet, and that's Walmart. Um, looking for uh, party supplies, and the couple stores that I checked out didn't really have what I was looking for, so now I find myself going to Walmart, and I absolutely despise Walmart. I hate going there, like, it's just an absolute mess going there. But, need to get party supplies, so, yeah. Okay, that was absolutely ridiculous. Like, my daughter wanted a My Little Pony birthday, which, okay, I can do that. I, that is 1,000% acceptable. But apparently, My Little Pony birthday supplies are non-existent. So I just spent like the last freaking hour trying to come up with an idea to at least have this relatively close to My Little Pony and kind of ended up just going to like Unicorn because they are, at least some of them are Unicorns. But my God, why is it so hard to find My Little Pony birthday supplies? Like that's absolutely insane. Like, it's not an unpopular cartoon. Like, My Little Pony is pretty popular. Like, you would think that they would have something relatively close outside of just unicorns to My Little Pony. But, oh well. I called it. I knew it was gonna happen. Exactly what I said earlier today, where it thinks it's empty, but it's not empty and it doesn't start. So hold on. 
All right, anyways, back to what we were doing. We are finally, oh, shut up, I'm not going very far. We are finally back at the house. That took a lot longer than I was expecting it to. But, but, we now get to do an oil change on this girl and get uh, some fresh, new oil and a nice new oil filter inside of her. And yeah, then it's on to the next project will be tires, but let's get this girl going. Okay, so here's the thing. I have done oil changes before. Like, a majority of the oil changes that were done on Subaru, I did. But, I have never personally done an oil change on a truck. Which, obviously, they're a lot different than cars. Or at least from what I've seen. Like, I'm not an expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert. But, we're going to let this cool down a little bit. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do that before you do an oil change kind of let it cool down because i did just do a little bit of driving so she's nice and warm but yeah this is what we're working with here and i need to find a light so i can actually see what i'm doing all right we're underneath here just kind of getting a feel for it well i wait for her to kind of cool down a little bit but that right there that little thing right there, the old oil filter, might be my biggest issue. Because I don't personally think that I have the proper tool to remove that. So, we might have to uh, improvise a little bit. But, we'll get her figured out. But, I will say, I, I will say this. Despite the age and the miles... She doesn't look terrible under here. Like, it looks like a 2005. Like, yeah, oh, like no issues whatsoever. I mean, obviously, you got some rust issues, which are 2005. That is going to be expected. But, yeah, we'll get started on this here in a minute. But for now, I'll let you guys be. All right, I think we've let her sit long enough. Got everything ready to go. Trucks jacked up. Tires are blocked. We're going to swap the battery on this guy because it's almost dead. And then we are going to get to town and hopefully not screw things up. All righty. First things first, get maybe get this girl off of here. Now comes the fun part, getting myself underneath here, and you know, this would be so much better, and of course, I've got my tool, you know, might need the tool to drain the oil. That might help. All right, back to what we're doing. All right. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? So, I guess the goal of this is to not get covered in oil and hopefully that's where it needs to be so I don't get myself covered oh 
all these crappy tools. Really? Wow. This thing is absolutely garbage. Hold on. Okay, let's try this again. I had to run downtown. Can't get into my truck that way. I had to run downtown to get the actual tools I needed because I can't find anything. So, now that we have the tools we need to do this freaking oil change, let's get it done. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful black liquid. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's bright down here. Yeah, we finally got it off now that I had the right tools. But yes, we are making progress. All right, we're making progress. We got the <coughs> oil drained oil filter out. We're doing good. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to finish draining, I'm still dripping a little bit. Do y'all want to bang? I have such an addiction to caffeine. Should really probably slow down of my caffeine intake or find a much better option than caffeine. But I kind of like my caffeine a little too much. All right, turn that off real quick. Step one is complete, and we didn't break anything. Now, add the oil, and make sure I didn't blow her up. All right, here comes the moment of truth. Did I blow her up? Did I screw up and not do this the right way? But let's find out. Well, she didn't blow up, so that's a plus. We're gonna let her run for a little bit, then take her for a drive, and go from there. All right, now we're gonna take her for a little bit of a drive, make sure everything's running fine, no leakage, no nothing, and that should about wrap this up for getting the oil change done. So far, so good. No issues, no red flashy lights. Like, I think, I think we're good to go. But we are gonna drive around for a few minutes, just make sure everything's okay, everything's good to go. It's been a hot minute since I've done an oil change, and the last thing I wanna do is find out two days later that I fucked something up and be broke down on the side of the road. All right, guess what? There is no issues, there's no red flashy lights, there is no nothing. So, apparently I did it right, which isn't hard to do. I mean, oil changes aren't, like, ridiculous to do. It's just, I've been, my only experience with doing oil changes is on the Subaru. So I was like, ah, am I gonna screw this up or am I gonna get it right? But I got it right. So now we move on to the fun part, which is cleaning up my mess and, you know, yeah. So let me get this cleaned up real quick. Oh, still such a sexy, sexy truck. But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up this vlog. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to do one on the truck. Get some work done on her, which I really want to call it work. I mean, it is work, but it, at the same time, it's not work. I don't know. Maybe, it, I don't know. But yeah, like, I like this truck. Like, age, miles, condition, all pretty good. Like, She's a good truck. Like, I like it. I, I am very, very happy with this truck. Turn you up here real quick. Um, 
But yeah. The next thing that definitely needs to be done, which will probably be done next week, is the tires. And while I'm doing that, check the brakes and rotors. The brakes work perfectly fine, but it's not going to hurt to get them checked out. Unfortunately, I will not be doing the tires. Um, we got to swap the rims on the tires, and I don't have the know-how or tools and equipment to do that. So that is going to be put in the hands of someone else. But brakes and rotors, I can do them. Like, I enjoy doing the brakes and rotors. But, yeah. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If not, hit that dislike button. Also, please hit that subscribe button. We're doing good, like, but we're kind of at a standstill. And we need to get past that little uh, standstill and get some subscribers on here. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.